All right, man. Got another one today, y'all. Got our Chevy, our Tahoe. Doing the uh, upper control arm, Tahoe Chevrolet. Um, how y'all doing? We got our uh, upper control arm today. We put a new one on. As you can see, that's the old one. Definitely has to go. Definitely is not uh, doing the job that we need. Rubber is all beat up and bent. So we're gonna get these bolts out of here, get this bolt out of here, and uh, yeah, I know how we get it. Let's do it. So next, what you're gonna wanna do is just get the, get the wires out of the way, the ABS. Unhook it from the top, goes into that one, it's just right up in there. That one, I hook that one. That one kind of works for you. And then get that out of the way. And so now, I'm going to take this out of the way, that out of the way, and then this off too. Well, um, I don't think necessarily this one. I think just this one. And this one. And that way, we can move this bolt out easily. And then that way, when we take off the open control arm, this is not still on it. So that's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt. Grab your 10 socket and then take it off. Alright, so now I got the um, castle nut and then there also was a carter, carter pin and the upper control arm. Um, the front part right here. So I got that loosened. It's an 18 millimeter bolt. Or castle nut. You use 18 millimeter socket. It's enough room in here to get in here and use it. Uh, loosen it up right here, and then just put it on a little bit more. And then when you hit this out, so that way this knuckle doesn't fall. And also you want to support it too with a jack in because when it gets ready to go down, you kind of still want it in the same spot. As the um, as the basically, you want to put it in the same way that it's coming out, so it doesn't mess up the alignment. Best way possible. Best way possible. But so next, we're gonna use. You can use a real strong hammer to hit the side of the knuckle, but you can damage it. So I'm gonna use a pickle fork. And basically what this pickle fork does is gets into that ball joint and I'm able to hit it, hit it, hit it, and then pop it out. And then I'll go on to the next part. Alright, at the 20,000 beats and wax, that's what it's that's what you want it to look like. Uh you kind of want it to basically get that uh no all the way back up to the top. Now this wasn't so beat up. So I'll cut this off so you can see. Man, yeah, that's what we call that. It's done. Give me one second. I'm gonna cut this off so you can see what I'm talking about. See, that's what you want to see. Ball joint. I had to get that rubber off there so you can see. But ball joint is kind of out now. And so when I take those out, this is gonna kind of fall down, but it's gonna kind of stay in the same spot because it is, it's holding it up. So when I put it in, it'd be like a reverse cycle. There you go. As you see here, so I got my vice grips on the bolt that's holding on the outside. And then I got my 13 16 and then my breaker bar to break it out. So my breaker bar already has did its job. So what I'm going to try to do is set this up so y'all can see it. Yeah. Nice, okay. So, try to take this off here. And then, put on my ratchet. There we go. There we go, break it off now. 
So you see, I gotta hold that side up, boom. Now the bolt is spinning out. At this point, if you want to, you just kind of use your hand. So, looks at that point. And then boom, it is off. Like I said, 13 sixteenths, get that right out of there. The bolt stuck in there, you can put it back on. And then let me see, you can use the ratchet. Or you can use a hammer and kind of beat it out of there too. And then the neck on is like that. All right. So, and then you ask, well, how do we get this side out? This one's a little bit more simpler. Try your best to just either pull it out or use your hammer. Or use this guide to slide it on out. Gotta use a hammer. This one we're getting pretty good. Use the guide and just put on that. Remember too, it also has another guide on this side. So just remember to catch that, spin that, get that out like that. Boom. Okay. So some stuff in the way here too as well. Yeah. Boom. All right, there you go. And then. Wow. So I'll just leave that stuck in there because that's not bad. And uh, the marks right there will show me exactly where I gotta put it back on this time to put it back on. So so that's that side. Let's see if I can switch you over here. This side. as it gets right there guys okay same thing different side same process vice grips and then we got our which was pretty stuck on there last time so i don't even have to go through that process so let's see if i can just get this one on the hook out and then scoot and boot it it's a scoot and booter Maybe I just fly. Oh, there we go. You see that one kind of went on a little bit smoother because of the um, WD-40 or lubricant, whatever you might have. Right. This way. Oh man, stay up a little bit. This one's going to fit. Okay. Alright, yeah. A little bit easier 
that way. And then once I break it, well, it's not, well this is too easy. Then I switch to the other ratchet. And then, yeah, this is too easy. And then that way, I'll have to keep taking it off on. on. Looking for it. That's one thing save you some time. Just keep your tools handy. Remember where you put stuff. Oh, there you go. I ran my face. Ah, so that's one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I put one, boom, boom. I don't even know how to do that no more, really. That one came off a little bit easier. So like I said, just sprayed it down a whole lot easier. Keep that right here. This one goes on that one. Try to keep your bolts together too, as best as possible. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But it'll save you some time when it's time to put everything back together. Let's try. There's another bolt over here. I'm gonna find it. It fell out. And it thinks I lost them, but I did. Alright, so now that's what's off. Same process. Uh, where's my little thing at? Yeah. I'm get this off of here. Actually, I'm gonna get that off of there. That's where we wanna go out. Come on. came off and then this is why I took this off earlier so then that way instead of boom I don't gotta play with it all right so this is the next fun part and I'm gonna pause and move this out the way all right so this is the part where you kind of balance that out and so now I got the upper control arm out all I'm gonna do is kind of wiggle and pull wiggle and pull and so that's our old one that's where it came out of and then this is our new one all right so now we got the new one back in don't have it all installed yet but we are putting the cast nut in back in with the 18 millimeter so putting that in first and then I'm going to kind of adjust those and then uh, put those bolts in too. 